Okay, so <laughs> like everyone's probably seen those ads, right? Yeah. For motion. Yeah. And notion. Yeah, they're everywhere. It's like they're uh, kind of battling it out, you know. For our attention. Yeah, exactly. For our brains and like our wallets too. But um, the names are so similar. Mm -hmm. I think it's really easy to kind of get them mixed up. Yeah. But they actually like do very different things. They do. They both sort of promise to like, you know, make you more productive. Right. But one's more like a giant toolbox mm -hmm. for organizing like your entire life. Okay. And the other is like a really smart assistant. Yeah. That helps manage your schedule. Oh, that's a great way to put it. Yeah. Okay. So to help you figure out which one is right for you, we're doing a deep dive into some Reddit threads. Cool. And a comparison article. Awesome. We're going to be like sifting through the hype and all the marketing stuff mm -hmm. and pulling out those nuggets of wisdom that will actually help you decide. Yeah. Um, full disclosure, one Reddit user pointed out that the article author might be a little bit biased towards motion. Okay. So we'll just keep that in mind as we go. Always good to be aware of that, right? Exactly. Yeah. Speaking of opinions, though, let's start with Notion. Okay. We found this one Reddit user who is absolutely head over heels for it. Really? Like they describe it as this super customizable powerhouse. Oh, wow. That can handle basically anything you throw at it. So it's like the ultimate productivity tool. They make it sound like it. Yeah. Is there a catch? Well, this user did emphasize the time commitment. Okay. Like it's not a plug and play solution. You really have to right. invest the time to like set it up and customize it to fit your needs. Oh, so it's not like a magic bullet. No, it's not a magic bullet. You have to actually put in the work. Exactly. And this user also brought up a really important point about data portability. Okay. Like what happens if Notion goes belly up one day? Oh gosh, yeah. Where does all that info go? Right. All that carefully organized information. Yeah. That is a scary thought. It is. It's almost like creating a second brain, as some users call it. Oh, I've heard that term. Yeah. And that's actually how a lot of Reddit users describe their experience with Notion. Really? Yeah. They use it for like note taking, task management, building personal wikis. Wow. And just generally storing all their knowledge in one place. So it's evolved from just like a note taking app mm -hmm. to this like comprehensive workspace. It really has. That's interesting. And they have a free plan, right? They do, which is great. So anyone can try it out. Yep, yep. Without, like, breaking the bank. Exactly. Okay, so that's Notion. Now, what about Motion? Okay, so for Motion, we found a Reddit user who describes it as a time management tool Okay. that revolves around your calendar. So it's, like, tied to your calendar. Yeah, it's very calendar-centric. Okay, how does that work? Well, Motion really leans into AI you know, artificial intelligence. Oh, interesting. So it analyzes your calendar and availability wow. and then automatically schedules your tasks for you. So it's like, it's very hands-off, oh. like a personal assistant. It is. And it even handles meeting scheduling. Oh, wow. So you can say goodbye to all those back and forth emails. Oh, that's amazing. I hate those. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to find a time that works for everyone. Right. Motion takes care of all that. So it really does sound efficient. Yeah, definitely. But uh, is there a downside? Well, a few Reddit users pointed this out. Okay. The price motion is significantly more expensive than Notion. So there's a trade-off. There is. You get the AI-powered efficiency. Right. But at a higher cost. Exactly. Makes you wonder if it's worth it. Yeah. That's the question, isn't it? It is. It really depends on your individual needs and budget. Right. And speaking of individual needs, one Reddit user actually shared that they use both. Wait, they use Notion and Motion together? They do. How does that even work? So this particular user uses Notion as like their central hub okay. for all their to-do lists, notes, and projects. Mm -hmm. But then they use Motion to like take those tasks from Notion and automatically schedule them on their calendar. So Notion is like the brain. Yeah. And Motion's like the action taker. Exactly. It's a team effort. I like that. Yeah. And if something doesn't get finished, Motion will automatically reschedule it. Oh, wow. So it keeps everything flowing smoothly. That's a really clever way to combine them. It is. It really shows that there isn't one perfect solution. Right. For everyone. Yeah. Sometimes the best approach is to like use a combination of tools. Totally. It's about finding what works for you. Exactly. Your specific workflow and needs. Okay. So we've heard from the Reddit community. Now let's turn to that comparison article. Okay. And see what insights it offers. Sounds good. It directly compares Motion and Notion in three key areas. Task management, mm -hmm. knowledge base, okay, and integrations with other apps. Cool. And one of the first things it points out is motion strength in automation. Okay. So if you're someone who thrives on having things like scheduled and managed efficiently, right. motion really shines at that department. Yeah. 
Notion, on the other hand, is more flexible mm-hmm. and customizable. Yeah. But it might feel a little overwhelming to some users. Oh, really? Yeah, because it has like a ton of features. I could see that. So it's kind of a trade-off, right, yeah. between automation mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and flexibility. Yeah, it makes sense given what we heard from those Reddit users. Absolutely. The comparison article also talks about how they handle knowledge management. Okay. And there's a big difference. What is it? Motion is primarily designed for note-taking. Okay. But Notion excels as a comprehensive knowledge base. So it's like a deeper level. It is. Think Wiki's interconnected notes databases. Wow. It's built for deep knowledge organization. Okay. So Notion is for those who really want to dive deep. Yeah. If you're really serious about knowledge management. Gotcha. Now, when it comes to integrations, the article says Motion is more selective. Okay. They focus on key integrations with popular platforms, right. but Notion boasts a library of over 2,000 API-enabled integrations. Wow. Okay. So Motion is like... It's curated. A curated selection. Yeah. And Notion's like the all-you-can-eat buffet. Exactly. Okay. So we've got Notion, the versatile all-rounder, yeah. and Motion, the efficient AI scheduler. Right. But wait, there's more. What? The article throws another contender into the ring. Oh, really? Who's that? It's called AI Table. AI Table. Okay. Yeah. What's that all about? Well, the article positions it as the potential future of task management. Interesting. And it all revolves around AI. Of course, AI is everywhere these days. I know, right? But what makes AI Table's approach unique? Well, it's all about using AI to organize data. Okay. And create custom apps. Custom apps so you can like... Yeah, you can build your own apps. Without coding. Exactly. Okay, that sounds pretty impressive. It is... Imagine transforming data effortlessly with like these visual AI databases, Mm -hmm. crafting bespoke workflows, collaborating seamlessly with your team all in one platform. Okay, so how's it different from Notion? So you're right. Notion has databases and collaboration, too. Right. But AI Table takes it a step further. Okay. How so? Like with Notion, you're still doing a lot of the heavy lifting. Okay. But AI Table uses AI to do a lot of that work for you. So it's like having a super smart assistant. Exactly. It can automatically categorize your data, excites, even generate content based on your input. Okay, I'm starting to see the appeal. Yeah, and the article highlights AI Table's ability to create these AI-powered apps. Uh Uh-huh. So imagine building custom apps for your specific needs without any coding. That's amazing, especially for businesses who need, like, specialized solutions. It is. But don't have the resources to hire developers. Exactly. And because it's so flexible and AI driven, the article argues that AI table could be a truly groundbreaking tool. Okay. So now we've got three contenders. Well, we do. Notion, the versatile all rounder. Yep. Motion, the efficient AI scheduler. Right. And a AI table, this futuristic AI powerhouse. It's a lot to take in. It is. I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed. I hear you. I think we need a break. Yeah, let's take a moment to process this. Okay. And then we'll come back and explore AA table in more detail. Perfect. Comparing it head to head with Notion and Motion. Sounds good. Stay tuned. All right. All right. So we've talked about Notion and Motion, and now I'm ready to really dive into this AI table thing. Okay. Yeah. It sounds like it could be a total game changer. Yeah. Definitely has the potential. So remember how we were saying that like Notion is like building your own custom productivity system. Yeah. It sounds like AI Table takes that idea and like adds AI to it. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. It's like Notion, but with AI superpowers. Okay, so instead of having to manually create everything from scratch, AI Table uses AI to help you. Exactly. Okay, cool. The article really highlights AI Table's visual AI databases okay. as like a key feature. And what's so special about those? Well, imagine being able to create databases that like automatically categorize and analyze your data mm-hmm. and pull out insights you might never have noticed on your own. That's amazing. It's like having a built-in data analyst working behind the scenes. Yeah, like... Notion's databases are cool, but this just seems like a whole other level. It is. It's a whole different level of data management. Okay. And remember how the article mentioned AI Table's ability to create AI-powered apps? Yeah. Let's unpack that a little bit. I'm still a little fuzzy on what that actually means, like, in practice. Okay. So think of it this way. With AI Table, you can build custom apps tailored to your specific needs. Okay. Without needing to code. Oh, wow. No coding. That's great. Yeah. So say you're like constantly sifting through research articles for your work. Yeah, I do that a lot. You could build an AI table app that automatically extracts key findings, Uh summarizes the articles, Mm -hmm. 
and even categorizes them by topic. That would save so much time. It would. It's like having a personal research assistant. Exactly. That's the beauty of it.